Hey there, my name is Amy Batchelor with Lodestar SEO. I spoke to Christy on the phone who so kindly said I could shoot this video over to you. I'm a local business owner just like yourself and know that COVID has really hurt some businesses. So I just wanted to give back and show you what you can do in order to compete online with your competitors and drive more traffic to your business. I wanted to jump on here real quick and go ahead and go through your site and show you kind of what we think is going to be best for you. So I'm just going to jump in and start going through what we see and where we think you can get the most value. I'm pretty much going to explain to you three things that you can do today to really bring value to your company and start outranking your competitors online, okay? The very first thing I want to go over is your website and what we call content. When someone searches for air duct cleaning, say spring, Google crawls websites on the internet searching and ranking the sites. It's looking for keywords. It's looking for what should this site be found for. So when I go through here, and I realize that this is your air duct cleaning uh, landing page. But when I go through here, I see you have some nice photos on your site and a beautiful layout. I see quite a bit of content. And one thing I can tell you about Google is Google loves content. So Google likes to see a minimum of 1,500 words on your front page. And we're looking at right now with your site is we're probably sitting right at about 1,500 words on this page. Now you want to make sure you have keywords that people search for on your site, okay? And also another thing I can point out is your images. We want to make sure that we save those as keywords. So let's see what you have saved here. This one we have air duct clean versus dirty. Okay, so I would say to change that to a keyword. Alrighty? Now we'll talk a little bit more about keywords here in a second, but not only does Google just look at your site, but when Google comes into your site, they can't tell what they should be ranking you for if you don't have any keyword specific things on here. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at your competitor. When I looked up air duct cleaning spring, these guys came up right here. And when we start scrolling through their site, we, we see content here, pictures, and they have almost 2,300 words on here. So what does that mean? Right here is a tool that I use called a refs, and it shows me every keyword that you're ranking for, how much traffic you get into your site. So we can see here that on this landing page, you're getting found for 51 keywords, and you're getting two people a month to your website. So when we jump in here and we look at your competitor, see there's their website, we see that they're getting found for 308 keywords, and they're getting 74 people a month to their website. And when we go in and we look at keywords right here, just point out a couple to you. Uh, air duct cleaning, spring text, they're getting like 80 clicks a month on that and they're sitting on the first page of Google. Dryer vent cleaning Houston, 350 clicks a month on Google for that keyword alone. And these people are sitting on the first page of Google also for that one. So once we do this, and the first thing of getting the right content on your site and getting the right keywords on your site, the next thing is to go and find what we call backlinks, okay? So what are backlinks? Backlinks are pretty much, let's say another air duct cleaning site from Houston, Spring, or even Florida. It just needs to be in your kind of field, air duct cleaning. Linking back to your site, saying that you're the most popular one here. So the way that Google works it's like a popularity contest back in high school, right? The more sites we get linking into your site, the more popular it tells Google that you are and the more they want to rank you for these keywords. So we need to go out, we look at your competitors, and we see that they have 400, 401 referring domains linking back to their site. So we have to beat it. And not all backlinks are created equal, right? So like getting a link from Starbucks, linking to you is not going to be as powerful as a general contractor or something like that linking back to you. To tell Google that you're relevant, you're in the right niche, and you're popular. So I will just point out that your, your home page has 152 referring domains, okay? And now back to your competitor of 400 referring domains. So that's what we want to go after, all right? So we have about 400 referring domains. Now, we don't want to get the same amount as them when it comes to links. We want to beat them by 20, 30 links to really start beating out the competition, to outrank them, to take that traffic. And then last but not least, I want to talk to you about the third thing we need to go get. 
and that's what we call citations. So I'm sure you've heard of the map pack before. So this is the map pack here, and down below it is what we call organic. Now I looked through the first 10 pages and I did not find American Comfort Expert. To get to organic, we got to get those keywords up, we've got to get all the links coming into your site, and then to get into this map pack up here, we've got to go after what we call citations. And a citation is your name, address, and phone number throughout the web on as many directories as possible. And a directory is like Yelp, Yext, City Star, all those directories that are out there, we want to get your business listed on them. It tells Google that you're legit. So we go over here to another resource I use called whitespark.ca. I did a report and I found the top listing on map packs and it looks like he has right here, he has 99 citations and you're sitting right here at 36 citations. Okay, so when we come back over here to the map pack and you look at more businesses for Air Duct Cleaning Spring, I went back 30, 40 positions and American Comfort Experts were nowhere to be found. So once again, we went over content. We got to get the content on your site. You've got a beautiful looking site, but we got to get the keyword relevant content on here. Then once we have that, we need to go after these backlinks, right? We need to get your backlinks up to start driving traffic to where you're getting over 100 people a month to your site. And then once we have that, we want to turn around and we want to go after these citations right here. Okay, so those are the three things that I think if implemented today, it's really going to get you found on Google and drive more customers to your business. I've only shown you one competitor and one keyword search. There are dozens of buyer intent keywords for the air duct industry and that we could capture the traffic of thousands of clicks per month that you aren't getting. All right. So, like I said earlier, my name is Amy. If you have if you like what you've seen here today and you want to chat, you can reach me at lodestarseo.com for my contact info. Thank you and have a great day.